50 years of what I am Barrett. Yeah, it's 50 years since uh, me and Willie first got together and put a record out. And um, a lot's happened since then. <laughs> Some of it good. Did I ever think we'd get to 50 years of Otway and Barrett? I did. It was my mum that didn't. My mum was always thought I'd have to get a proper job. I mean, she didn't expect it to last five years, ten years, twenty years, thirty years, forty years, or fifty years. Um, and if she was still around, it would have been really nice to have said, Mum, look, did it. And I'm past retirement age. And look, I've got a job long after the rest of the family have stopped working. Oh, it hasn't finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> We've only got the one hit, we don't have to bits of it out. <laughs> I mean, we want to make it last as long as we can. <laughs> I know how much I enjoy it now because the lockdown happened and it stopped. And it was horrible. And it really, really was horrible. I mean, I, mean, I make this joke on stage and I was get used to going out two or three times a week and people were telling me what a good bloke I was and buying me beers. And it stopped and I missed it. But it's absolutely true. I mean, I did. I mean, I mean, I did some Facebook Live things, which were getting a lot of views, and we were getting like 10,000 views a week. But it wasn't the same as, you know, going to a gig and people telling you, you know, first-hand what a good bloke you were. So I became a singer, and it happened very fast after an appearance of the old play whistle test. It was my first time as a guest on national television, and I was going to do my best to make a big impression. For the millions watching, it wasn't hard to tell. Not only was it stupid, it must have also hurt like hell. <laughs> and why are Willie Barrett said, no way could you disguise the fact that that was agony. There were real tears from both eyes. 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 Somebody asked me to count up the gigs the other day, including tonight's gig, and um, we're at uh, 5,100. So I think a bit of I'm like 10% of the way there to gig 6,000. <laughs> Our tours have always been sort of a bit up and down and all over the place. Um, when we did the Alba Hall tour, I remember there was uh, one gig in Perth followed by a gig in Penzance. And we had the Perth to Penzance challenge for anybody that wanted to join us and do both dates. And um, the joke was then close alphabetically. <laughs> and it's quite funny because uh, later this year I'm actually playing um, in Perth in Australia. So I thought, Maybe I could do an even more adventurous Perth to Penzance couple of gigs. <laughs> There's something about AI I like. I quite like the idea of making Otway intelligent, <laughs> even if it's done artificially. I've never been intelligent before. So. I wake up in the morning. I've got all the lyrics on, you know, in text format. I should probably put them into AI and just sort of saying, um, can you make some of these songs a bit better? 